Welcome to Twin Peaks Unwrapped. I'm your host, Ben Durant, and beside me is... Brian Kazaska. Hey, Brian. We are here again to talk about our book, Twin Peaks Unwrap the Book, which you can get at bluerosemag.com. We are going over each chapter, discussing our favorite things about each chapter, and today we are talking about chapter eight, which features episode six. And Brian, what is one of your favorite things about this chapter? Well, I liked how this all came about. Um, Ben, I believe you saw Jimmy Kimmel and Zoe Deschanel was on. And she briefly talked about being on the set of Twin Peaks when she was a a little girl with her parents. And that somehow we got a hold of Mary Jo Deschanel, her mother. Yes, and, I can say it real quick. I say, you know, yeah. I reached out to, to I reached out to Zoe's uh, reps to say, hey, hey, maybe we could have her in the book. She could talk about, you know, what was it like being a, a younger and having her parents in Twin Peaks. You know, her dad directing and her mom as uh, Donna Hayward's mom. You know, mm-hmm. acting in it and stuff. And so I reached out to her people and I said, well, you know, I don't know if Zoe's interested. She was too little and young, and she doesn't remember much about Twin Peaks. But um, I could reach out to her mom and she could be, she might be willing to be interviewed. After interviewing Mary Jo, we asked, hey, would Caleb, her husband, be willing to be interviewed? And he was. So it was yeah. kind of cool. It started with, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have Zoe? I think the thinking was, wouldn't it be cool to have a community commentary from Zoe or something? Yeah. So that basically, we got those two, Caleb and, and uh, Mary Jo. And it, I think it's just so sweet to have a husband and wife in this, in this book, especially this chapter. You do get a lot from both of their perspectives. Right. And, you know, in interviewing them, some of them that say the same things, but it's kind of funny that in some ways you say, oh, Mary Jo may have said it better this way or Caleb said it better this way. And, and to see, and to see their, how they look at it, it was something special. Yeah, definitely. Ben, what do you got? So... One of my favorite things about this chapter is Harley Payton sharing with us how he came up with the the most famous Twin Peaks quote quote of all time about giving yourself a president. So I just love that. I just love, I mean, that is, that's, you know, that's my motto every day, you know, give yourself a president Mm -hmm. and stuff. And to have him kind of share with us where that came from, it's it's pretty special. I mean, Harley uh, doesn't get the credit enough for a lot of the, the, He is the coffee and cherry pie of Twin Peaks. A lot of the most memorable quotes of season one and two came from Harley Payton. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, So true. So yeah, I mean, if you're interested in this and wanting to find out more about Twin Peaks, we recommend you pick up our book, Twin Peaks Unwrap the Book at bluerosemag.com.